right guys so in today's video we're going to be talking about what is the correct length like what is the length that your wedding films your wedding highlight should be what's the length so what's the length that your wedding highlight film should be what's the correct length what's the best length all that lengthy stuff okay so let's go okay so i have four points to give you guys about the length that i think your wedding film should be so point number one is honestly you guessed it there's no length like there's no set length as to what a wedding highlight film should be like okay all wedding highlight film should be five minutes should be eight minutes should be 15 honestly there is no length there is no correct length there's no such a thing as a correct length so don't get fooled into thinking that wedding films should be a certain length so if somebody comes and tells you oh your wedding film should be eight minutes don't listen to them your wedding film should be your highlight wedding film should be let's say six minutes I don't care even if let's say it's a future me and I got a whole bunch of subscribers and I tell you don't listen to that because honestly there is no set length as to what a wedding film should be so that's point number one there is no um, such thing as a correct length so honestly you can leave now if you know if you wanted to hear a set length because um i'm just going to tell you right now there's no set length as to what a wedding film should be so if you wanted to if you came here so you can you know hear the correct length there's no correct length so you can leave the video at this point thank you for joining us today so the reason why there is no set length is because every wedding film is different so that's why there's no set length as to what your wedding can be because there's some cultures that their weddings take like five days for a wedding you know and um you're not gonna i'm not gonna say oh all wedding films should be 10 minutes what if like different cultures their weddings go on for a couple of days or they go on for a whole day so i'm gonna keep probably repeating this point in throughout this video and also the main point is follow what you wrote down, what you signed to in the contract, you and the couple signed. Um, let's say you've put down like, okay, so a highlight video is gonna be 10 to 15 minutes, or it's gonna be five to 10 minutes, it's gonna be 20 to 30 minutes. So just follow what you write down in the contract. That's the most important thing is you follow what you write down because people will sue you you know and you know some people just just are how they are like they realize later oh we spent all this money blah 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 like you know so just follow what you write down in the contract what you agree to so whatever you agree to that's around the length that you should set your wedding films to but yeah like i'm saying there's no set length as to what a wedding should be so point number two um so i'm gonna give credit for this point, I'm going to give credit to a guy that I follow on YouTube. His name is Matt Johnson, and um, he does good videos. You know, he's also like a wedding videographer, and I, he also does um, kind of like, uh, what does he do? Like, just like short films, I think I would say. Anyways, so this dude, you know, they, he said something in one of his videos. He said, give yourself permission to be creative i think that's how we put it so what he meant was what he said was like you know most of the times like we don't have to just abide by what a wedding needs to be like like okay we need to throw in the cake cutting shots we need to throw in the the dancing shots the first dance we need to throw in the 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 bride walking down the ceremony we need to throw in father um daughter mother son dance like the formal stuff that happens at weddings you don't have to put that in every wedding film you know just edit the film how you feel should um how you feel it should go 
unless like of course the couple told you to put something in there or they specifically said can you please make sure you add the cake cutting or make sure you add the first dance so if that's the case then yeah you can put those shots in there but um what he meant was like they're paying you to be you they're paying you to do what you do in this case you are a creative you know you are a filmmaker so they're paying you to create the film the way you create the films on your website because that's the reason why they booked you because they liked how you work they liked your work before they booked you they looked through your your videos they saw your highlights they saw your trailers or whatever so they booked you because of that so they want you to create that because like when you pay somebody for a painting they're gonna do it how they do it because like you like how they paint so you paying them to do their creative art work so to say so this is a good point that uh matt johnson said he was like you know give yourself permission to be you basically give yourself permission to create okay don't kind of like limit yourself to i need to make it like this like be you like you know because if you are authentic it's going to be easy on you but if you're trying to be somebody else uh it's not going to be easy on you that's why everybody there was a time when everybody was trying to be casey neistat on youtube and it didn't really work out for them because they you know that's a whole different topic there i'm talking about weddings okay anyways so that's that point point number three is after doing a bunch of weddings you are kind of going to um have a certain length that most of your wedding videos the highlights most of them should be so you should know just after you know after editing let's say 10 videos maybe even five um for me it took me like um well i keep getting the length a little bit lower you know because i have a lot of weddings and um i used to put i used to prolong my high my highlights at one time they were 30 minutes and then i went to 15 minutes and now they are between eight and ten minutes and that's what i put in the contract and the client signed to that so they should expect an eight to ten minute highlight film so um it doesn't matter if um your wedding was three days two days one day whatever it's going to be eight to ten minutes unless maybe um we sign to something different but that's the length that you are agreeing to and that's the length that i'm going to make the video because i found out that that's the best length for me when i'm editing okay that's when i do my best work when uh my wedding films are about eight to ten minutes but that's me you can do whatever you want to do whatever like i said give yourself permission to create your own art stop following what people do be you because um if you be you and do you you will never fail you always gonna succeed because it's gonna come easy to you because you're just being you right so that's that so yeah so that's the point like after editing a few weddings you're gonna have a set length you're gonna have you're gonna know the length that most of your videos end up at or what you like them to end up at so after doing a few videos you're gonna have a certain length so that's the point so yeah you're gonna have you're gonna find your length when you do a few videos point number four in conclusion is a highlight video is just like you are giving the couple the best shots from the highlights from their wedding so it doesn't mean like you need to add everything just add the best parts because again they're paying you to do you you to be you so um just like the parts that you feel the couple will like that's the parts you put in there and of course i mean you can put the formal kind of stuff but you know you will get it after a while so just so what i'm trying to say is it's called a highlight video for a reason it's only highlights it's not a full length wedding so of course like me i um my contract my uh packages i give the couple the full wedding chronological order and then i give them a highlight video 
and in some packages i give them a trailer so everything is different right so just make it nice and sweet and short but i mean again do you but a highlight video is meant to just like kind of show the highlights for people let's say some, somebody didn't go to a wedding and they just want to see the highlights of what happened so they're just going to see the highlight parts of it you know so just um yeah so that's what a highlight video should be just kind of the highlights you know don't put a lot of mumbo jumbo and this and that just kind of put the highlights it's up to you man you're gonna get it you're gonna get it what i'm trying to say is don't make a highlight video 30 minutes long but then again that's me kind of telling you what to do but then again uh, my point is just don't make it too long and just add parts that like you you're not even like you know some parts are like why are you adding this part is it adding to the story is it moving the story forward kind of thing like what does this have to do with that unless if it's connected but if it's not some parts like there's no point in adding some of the stuff you just make the thing long and some people like now everybody has short attention spans you know ask me about it i got two kids and they're both on their tablets and trust me like i'm trying to get them off that but you know it's the attention span of us human beings is just like going to shit so like if let's say guests um guests see see the videos from the wedding and they see it's like oh 20 minutes they're gonna be like man 20 minutes that's a long time 40 minutes i can watch an episode of whatever you know in 40 minutes so that's how you gotta look at it so just make them nice and short and you know but it's up to you again but i just don't make my um highlight films like 30 minutes because you know you're competing with tiktok now so <laughs> you gotta make you know you gotta make something engaging and you know a nice highlight video not a freaking an episode of something you know so that's that guys and my conclusion is it comes down to what you and the couple agree on and after doing a lot of weddings um at least now i can estimate on how long my weddings are so it, it all depends on what your contract is with the couple honestly you know and um just deliver what you promise if you promise them actually not even what you promise deliver what's in the contract that's a better way to say it deliver what you agree on on the contract because you can't you can't get sued on what you promise but you can get sued with what you write down what you sign to okay guys um so that's that and um yeah so just to finish this video off let me tell you a story a quick story somebody tried to sue me because um i promise in the contract I was supposed to give them a five minute highlight video, but I gave them a four minute video. So they sued me because they wanted to sue me because I was left for one minute. So what I did was just like, I took a dancing scene. I was so pissed off. I just took the dancing scene of the, of the bride and her dad, and I just prolonged it to one minute, like the whole dancing part, just prolong that shit and just sent that to the bride i'm like here you go it's five minutes now it looked way better the way i did the edit when it was four minutes but when she came back and told me to just add a couple uh seconds to the video like i was so pissed off that you know i was like all right you know what i'm just going to do it this way and you know but it is what it is what i'm trying to tell you is um, some people might be nice and then later on change on you. I mean, you don't know these people like that. You know what I mean? So some people are looking to get money out of you just cause, just cause you got a business and they see you with all this expensive gear. Well, some of this stuff is not even expensive, but they see you with all this gear and they think you are a six figure, you know, person. So just be careful and always, and just like, make sure you go with what you write down in the agreement contract okay guys i have a whole video about contracts what to put in there what to not put in there and um yeah i'll probably link it down below but yeah that's so that's that guys there's no correct length for wedding films just edit 
the thing the way you feel it should be edited. Just do you. Just make it the way you do it. But most importantly, follow what you agree to in the contract, okay? And that's that, guys. Thank you for watching. On to the next one. The only place we're going to use this camera is the ceremony. Hey guys. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, you're good. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I can go home now. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, <I'm playing>. <laughs> 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 you're done. You've never seen me delete my email and everything. Ghost, baby. Change my phone number. You ain't gonna catch me. Oh my gosh. I can go home now. You don't know my address. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>